Alrighty, folks. Here I am back in the uh, den. Yep, too hot for the shed. It's just too hot in Texas. Be out there sweating it up, and I gotta go to the gig in a little bit, so I don't wanna be all stinky. Anyways, what do I got here? I got some Gom Bops. Yeah, old Gom Bops. What's unique about these babies? Well, let me tell you a little something. I bought these not too long ago. Well, actually a long time ago. They were red and beat up and had some cracks, even a hole somewhere, I think. But I sent them off to my man. That's right, Matt Smith. Matt Smith is absolutely, without a doubt, the best refurber on the planet. At least that I know him. There may be somebody else better out there, but I don't know him. Sent them off to him, well, about three years later. I finally got him back. But you know what, man? Let me tell you something. This man's work is so incredible. These drums are probably better put together now than they were when they were brand new. Yeah, they're the old mahogany gombops, that old Philippine mahogany, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what the wood is. He stripped them all down, relacquered them, put two brand new heads on, fixed all the the issues with the shell reinforced it. I mean, man, let me tell you something, bro. These things are solid as a rock. Not only that, but they've got that real old school traditional Cuban sound that you can't get with a modern bongo. Look at the heads. Perfect, perfect thickness. Nice, thin head on the, on the macho and then on the hembra, just a little bit thicker. Beautiful heads, dude. Beautiful heads, beautiful sounding drums. Let's give a listen to him. My limited bongo playing skills. nice sounding stuff super light easy to carry around I really bought these for my daughter when she was a little kid she's bigger now and won't come near anything Latin Afro Cuban nothing I think I may have lost her along the way all she wants to play is Bach Chopin Debussy that's okay with me every once in a while I can get her to throw down on some Lecuona and that's good enough but anyways I'm getting some more perks and I think I may have to sell these I may have to sell them and see if I can. So they'll be up for sale sometime pretty soon, maybe. I am going to ask a fair price for them. If they do not sell for my fair price, of course, I'm just going to have to keep them. But if you like the Gombops, you want a set of Gombops that you know is made to last a lifetime, which as we know, not many Gombops are because them suckers are falling apart all the time, especially the ones made out of that Philippine mahogany because that stuff just whatever. I don't know what happens to that wood. The oaks tend to hold together a little bit better. But these babies are clean and pristine. And of course, referred by the master himself. They will not fall apart on you. They will sound great for years to come. And they've got the perfect pair of heads on them. That's 50 bucks right there just for the head. Alrighty. Hasta la vista, babies.